Well, hello and welcome. I'm Colin Daniel and I'm from RiffNinja.com and this is lesson number two in a series of three lessons and the three lessons are on power chord secrets. I got another power chord for you right here. It's called an inverted fourth. You see in lesson number one I talked to you guys about how an interval is measured from the lowest note. Lowest note is the root note. That's the rule, right? So if you're playing uh, a power chord like, like this, where you're playing a low G and a D, and the G is your root note. We also discovered in um, our first lesson that we could have an inversion of a fifth, and that didn't necessarily mean that the lowest note was the root, because the guitar likes to break rules, and that's the beauty of the guitar that way. So here we had this slash, a slash perfect fifth and it was a C5 slash G bass note right but now what we're doing is we're gonna take two strings a fourth apart technically a fourth apart right because I'm gonna start here with the D and then the G underneath it right now I don't like playing um, these two strings with the tips of my fingers, I just use the flat of my finger and I mute the other strings that I need to mute underneath it as I move through the through the two combinations of the two string uh, intervals that we need to learn, right? So this is a G and this is a D. That would technically be called sorry, other way around. <laughs> this is a D and this is a G. That would be technically called uh, D perfect fourth because you've got a D and a G, right? Then we move over to the third and fourth string, and we're playing an F and a B flat. So we're going from the G, or should I say the D and the G, to the F and the B flat. But I'm doing it with the flats on my fingers. So if this is F, this has got to be G. This has got to be a G and a C, right? If this is F and B flat, then this has got to be G and C. So if we go by the rule that the root note is the lowest note, then this should then this should be based on these changes. It should be based on a G, F, and a C. Okay, so that means we should be able to play um, our power chords instead, right? So we're going to play a D, F, so we're going to go by the root. We're going to go D, F, and G. That doesn't sound right, does it? And it's not right, because in actuality, we are not going by the root note. We're not going by the D on the fifth string for the fifth and fourth string interval, or by the F for the fourth and third string interval, or for the G. We're not doing that. We're actually going to the opposite. We're, we're using the high string as the root. So we're not using the D, we're using the G as the root. We're not using the F, we're using the B flat as the root. And we're not using the G, we're using, or should I say, we're not using the G here, we're using the C. Those are our roots. So the roots are actually G, B flat, and C, not, even though they are in our interval, right, and they're the lowest note, it's not D, F. Although it sounds right on its own, if you want to play, uh, it's in the key of G minor, and this is where it's played. That's inverted. This is related to a G. This is related to B flat. This is related to C. If you play the power chords like that, it sounds correct. G, B flat, and C. Same deal here. But if I was to play and go by the rule of the root, which it would be D, F, 
D, F, and G. Doesn't sound right for the key. It's related to the key of G, not the key of D. We are using the high note out of this interval. Which is why we call it an inverted fourth, because the perfect fourth on the fifth and fourth string would be the D and the G, and the D would be the root. D to G is perfect fourth, right? Instead, though, we're calling this the root. So it's inverted because D is related to G as a fifth, right? So D is becoming the fifth of G. It's a G, an inverted, an inverted fourth, G, B flat, and C. And that's it for the riff. That is it. So th there's four notes, right? You've got the G change, the B flat change, the C, and the devil's note. That's the flatted fifth, right? Because we're in the key of G. G is one, B flat is minor third, C is four, D is five, D flat or C sharp is flatted fifth. That's the evil dark note. Put it together and you get slow motion Walter, smoke on the water. Using those three intervals plus one more that I just showed you, the C sharp or the D flat. The intervals, the, the, uh, the G interval is played using the fifth and fourth string. The B flat interval is used playing the fourth and third string. The C interval is used playing the fourth and third string. And the same with the C sharp or D flat. So you only have, out of the four changes, you only have one change using the fifth and fourth string. The other three changes use the fourth and third string. And that's the reason why I'm mentioning that is to end the confusion, to make you realize that I'm playing fifth and fourth string here, but fourth and third here and here, right? So. And those are the actual correct notes and the key that it's supposed to be in. That's inverted fourths, my friends. Isn't that cool? All right, I'm gonna leave you with that in mind. Uh, have a good one, and we'll see you later.